When you're selecting a rose with wear, there's a few additional features that you can use. You can use is null in a where clause to check if a value is null, or is not null to check if a value is not null. You can use the distinct clause to only get unique values in your result set. You can use the in operator in a where clause to check if a value is within a specific set of values. You can use the like operator in a where clause to match a var chart column to a text pattern. And you can use order by to get your result sets in ascending order or whatever column order that you want. And you can use DESC for descending if you want it in descending order. Let's try these all out in MySQL and see how they work. So in this artist table, we have eight rows of data where every artist has a name and an age. And I even have an age that's null for artist name Tupac. So let's try to get all the names of people where the age is null. Select name from artist where age is null. That should just give me, oops, where, there we go. That fixes that error. That should just give me Tupac. There is Tupac. And if we did is not null, gives me everybody except Tupac. Let's add a person in there twice so that we can try out the distinct keyword. Insert into artist name and age values Drake. So now he's going to be in there twice and whatever, 33. So that's in it in there. Let's verify that Drake's in there twice. There's one Drake two drakes. So now if we wanted to select distinct names only, we could say select distinct name from artist. Let's run this. And this gives me a list of unique names and drakes only in there once, not twice. Let's go back to our original view. Here's everything. Let's try out the in keyword. Select age from artist. Actually, let's select name and age from artist where age is in. And let's give it a set of values. Let's say 34, 56, and 35. So it should only give me the artist name and age that are that have ages 34, 56, or 35. All right, so let's see what that does. And there they are. There's name and age of those three age numbers specifically. And also, let's go back to our main list. Let's try out the like keyword. Select star from artist where name is Drake. This will only give you the Drake entries. Or we could say, check this out, where, na where name is like Drake. Uh, that should do the exact same thing. But if we start deleting stuff where the name starts with DR, we'll see what that does. Is that going to give us anything? Nope, it gives us nothing because it's this is looking for an exact match, but if we had this little wild card percent sign right there, now watch this. It gives us everything that starts with DR. Drake, Drake, and Dr. Dre. And this wild card can go before, after, or wherever you want. Let's try out another wild card. Let's see what, what was in that table again. I mean, it's so looking at this data, we could just, how about we just get everybody that has the letter, I mean, if, like they all have the letter A in their name except M and M. So let's do that. Select star from artist or name like percent a percent. That should just give us everybody with the letter A in their name, I believe. And yep, you can see Eminem was taken out of this list. Let's order our result set. Select star from artist order by age. So now all our results are sorted by age in ascending order from 25 going up to 56. But if we stick a DESC right there, I 
actually, no, wait a minute. It goes after the age, sorry. There we go. That should sort it in descending order from biggest to smallest. Here we go, descending order. So yeah, that's all the keywords that we saw earlier. Uh, thanks for watching.